we have an expression now for the pressure of a gas based on the number of particles, their masses and the velocities, and the volume. Now, for an ideal gas, P times V is a constant. So let's recast this. Let's multiply through by V and look at what the PV constant is. And I'm going to look here at, at mv squared. I know that 1 half mv squared is the kinetic energy. So I'm going to multiply and divide through here by 2 to get a factor of 1 half mv squared. So a little mathematical manipulation, and I have an expression that contains the kinetic energy. In fact, the average kinetic energy, I have the average velocity squared here, times the number of particles is the kinetic energy of the sample. I have one mole, so it's a molar kinetic energy. And this is equal to PV, so the whole thing is equal to RT. One mole, nRT, one times RT. So what I have is an expression that relates the kinetic energy per mole to the temperature. So if I can do the math, multiply through by 3 halves here, I have an expression that the kinetic energy of the sample is 3 halves RT per mole. Now that's a very, very simple expression. The kinetic energy, the energy contained in the gas, is simply a function of the temperature. R is a constant. So a very beautiful and fundamental relationship. How much energy is contained in an ideal gas? Well, it depends only in the temperature. Now, this, I can divide through here by N0 again and get just the kinetic energy per particle instead of the kinetic energy per mole. So the kinetic energy per particle, dividing through by N0, and I'll get the kinetic energy per particle is 3 halves kBt, where kB is the Boltzmann's constant, and it's just R divided by Avogadro's constant. So what we have is a kinetic energy per molecule based only on the temperature, where this new constant, the Boltzmann's constant, is the gas constant divided by Avogadro's number. So a fundamental property here of nature, the energy per mole of a gas is dependent only on its temperature, 3 halves RT.